Jamie. All right. I'm busy writing a nine. <laughs> Hello, Twitch. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're back with the nines. Many nines. Not quite sure how many. Nines. Just like a couple. We found some nines on the ground. Decided to pick them up. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we're looking for Snake. There I am. I wonder where Snake went. Snake, Snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. Snake! <laughs> we can't keep looking for him. I mean, I checked every goddamn vent in this place and he's nowhere! Yo, did you vent? Uh, I thought he did. He's sus as hell. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> but wherever he is, it's not here. Maybe it is. We need to get moving. I was taking a sip of my LaCroix. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, you found her LaCroix? <laughs> yeah, it was under the bed. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We gotta figure out who's gonna go on, go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. I'm gonna walk three feet this way. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is my thinking area. Why don't we just decide on one person to sacrifice? Huh? Hmm. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. <laughs> Fanta? Where are you? I can hear you, but I can't see you. He's hiding under the bed. <laughs> oh no, he's venting. Well, uh, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes, human sacrifice. Oh, good. I love human sacrifice. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? No. We can't all make it through those doors. So who wants to die? For me! If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. Hmm. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. No. But if we split in to two groups of three, <laughs> And leave yeah. one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Incredible. Math. She can math, guys. These boobs aren't just for attracting mates, they're for calculation. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got the new eye boobs <laughs> from yeah. Apple. Your motherboard looking <laughs> Apple eye boobs. <laughs> my mommy board. <laughs> oh no. Mommy board. Leave up, leaving behind three people with two teams of four and three. Uh, she, yeah, whatever, you know. She might be right. I'm just gonna say she's right. Of course I'm right. Then you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? I'll do it. Oh yeah? Will you? Yes, we do. But you can't. Seven's an important number. <laughs> Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> if the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. Hmm. And that's a sacrifice I'm no! willing to make. <laughs> that's, too... <laughs> that's too cruel! <laughs> What's so cruel about it? To just sacrifice someone like that! God damn it! <laughs> I was trying to. <clears throat> then what? La Croix. It's called a Lacroix, you pesky bitch! Pesky. What's your plan? Um, um, um. Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. No, that's not what I meant. We shouldn't sacrifice anyone. Oh, how nice. I told you that's impossible. It's not impossible. Wake up! I am awake. 
Whoa, whoa. Calm down, you two. She's oh my god, be... Santa's finally back. You scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Look, what Lotus is trying to say is <clears throat> you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? What? <laughs> What? Why are we are just Santa? going on a moral, like, philosophical discussion now? Santa would say that. <laughs> you know what a majority vote is. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> exactly! That's how democracy works! Um, Probably. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what an electoral college does, but from my <laughs> perspective, they seem to be picking the right people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the president is, but I'm sure he's the doing what? fine. <laughs> and for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who'll be sacrificed is through a vote. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you think? No, that's terrible. I don't know how to vote. <laughs> I'm only 16! I am not <laughs> registered! <laughs> I'm not asking you! Shut up! Oh, Shut your stupid purple face! Uh, what about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. Alright, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two! I can do math! Oh my god. Seven? No, no next two. comes three. <laughs> <laughs> you don't start with seven. Well, I can't say I agree with you, but <clears throat> we don't exactly have a choice. If mm. we don't do, we're all gonna die. But we're all gonna die. Yeah, you gotta emphasize it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm bad at seeing letters are retalicized. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, well, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided by a majority vote. Oh. <laughs> what about you, Clover? Another one of Sydney's voices. <laughs> hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, we can go look for him. <laughs> you agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries! You bitch. <laughs> June Peg gets left behind! <laughs> now, let's start a vote! That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? What? 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 <laughs> Ooh! So many yeah. exclamations. So many ex- Hey! What are you saying? No, you can't do that! That won't solve anything! June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. <laughs> the difference! <laughs> what? The, the difference! I love the two, sp the two uh, <laughs> ends of Jamie's voice spectrum. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I love what I've done to June's voice. I'm not sure what it is, but it's just like, oh, it's, it's really it's whatever it is, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like whatever comes out of my throat is what she is today. That's yep, that's how we are. We are not that's how I've been playing seven, to be honest with yeah. you. It, it was one and then it became baby cakes, and now it just kind of is a weird <laughs> low nasal. <laughs> I love him. I love seven so much. <laughs> I trust you, each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Because I'm cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is optimistic. And then there's just nuts. These <laughs> nuts. I am nuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those doors only go one way. 
You go in, you don't come out. Hmm. That means you die, just in case you didn't know. I if we go die. through them... Uh-huh. If, if we go through them... <clears throat> you, you won't be able to return, correct? Uh, yeah. He said that already. True. Or that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. Also, is you that the new I have? We only have, like, I don't know, six hours left? Uh, we don't have we don't need all those hours. Well, then it's a good thing we started a little early today, isn't it, Sierra? <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> what? You heard me. You heard me. Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. Out of shit. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. There Maybe we, we should stop standing around <laughs> talking. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Uh, then... Perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Yeah. Or Absolutely. perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? Uh... You see, there's no other choice. And I see we've come to our conclusion. <laughs> I conclude this discussion. Go on. Don't worry yourself it's about me. Go, quickly. Don't you worry your pretty <laughs> little head about me. Bunch of sad faces and sounds. Good. Let's accept his kind offer then. Yeah. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Oh, is old man seepy? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? Shut up. No. You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Ben! Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. Welcome to 999, motherfucker! <laughs> For real. You too, Santa! Hi. I have to find my brother. There was- oh, Wait, all of you, let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be! <laughs> right, Jumpy? <laughs> Say something! I love you, June. <laughs> yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Bay has no thoughts. <laughs> Fine! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! Well, fuck you too, June! I was trying to help! You don't think, Zombie! You don't know how! <laughs> Look how sad he looks! Sorry, hold on, I was drinking my lemonade. <clears throat> hey! Podcast DAs from One Piece! Come on, Ace! Let's stand up! You can't give it up yet! We just have to sit down together and think about this. You're already sitting, so we're one step there. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. Ugh. Died. Ace! What happened, Ace? You sounded like a fucking steam whistle. <laughs> <laughs> what, ha what happened, Ace? Say something! <laughs> But her eyes are not pointed at the same thing. Yeah. What are we looking at? Nobody will know. He's I'm blind! <laughs> Please help me! I'm alright. <laughs> How are you? Alright! This. Uh, a syringe? That's his diabetes medication. <laughs> <laughs> so for real beta? What does this do? 
straight morphine. <laughs> it's like a super Viagra. You don't want to be around me when I inject this. Oh no, I think I gotta leave. Did, did you We're use this? Forcing June to leave by taking super Viagra. No! Mm -hmm. Yes. It's just an anesthetic. I'll be fine. Opioids are anesthetics too, bud. Mm -hmm. Anesthetic? What does that mean? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful later. Like, we're getting high as fuck while everybody else leaves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. You should have sat down before you did, <clears throat> you idiot. <laughs> Dude was just, right. just fucking collapsed because he injected himself while he was standing up. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even feel anything. What a dumbass. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. And you had to force yourself to inject anesthetic for that? Yeah, you know, it's hard to go to sleep these days. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I really am. I'm very tired. I didn't have any melatonin on hand. Gee, what do you want me to do? I don't have any melatonin. Well, time to inject <laughs> anesthetic. Yeah. Take fucking heroin. I mean, it's really easy for me to fall asleep. I don't know what you normies do. Try very Some of hard. us take melatonin. <laughs> Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No! Don't go into the light, Ace! Don't fall asleep! You'll get frostbite! Uh, you feel warm. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream so creepy very nice dream that cut me out that cut me yeah. out big time <laughs> june's not allowed Ace! Ace! oh layla you take melatonin i take melatonin at 11. i take melatonin never because i can sleep anywhere anytime well good for you it's my superpower yeah i, I know <clears throat> but I mean conversely I can't ever take an all-nighter so... <laughs> man <laughs> let's get him up on a bed oh, I can't believe it well we don't really have a choice now come on team <laughs> we can't let his sacrifice go to waste yeah. Right? Whatever you say, lady. Like, you even mean that. You say something? Oh. No, nothing. Mm hmm. That's what I fucking thought. Yeah, but we're, we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? I have split groups, bitch! Yeah. Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Right. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true! We didn't even figure <clears throat> out if we could make all of the digital roots. Yeah. Prepare for more math. Oh! <laughs> ah, enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. Screw Do you think around. we all screw around too much? <laughs> <laughs> you first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. Oh yeah? It's the same number as my bracelet number. And it looks okay. like a boobs. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a boobs. 
Got it. You're eight. She sure is. Uh, I'm like 25. <laughs> I'm wow. much older than 25. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure she's older than that. <laughs> You're next, seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. Damn, Even God. if she looks like a boobs. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Damn, get him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who, me? I didn't say nothing. Hmm. Oh, you're going to get it next time. Oh, oh my. <laughs> you can get it? Damn, you can get it? <laughs> Alright, anyway, who's what? next? Junpei, which door do you want? Which door do we want? We uh, haven't chosen door three, apparently. Should we go in door three, then? Let's go door three! First choice, best choice. Yeah. I want to we... go through door number three. No, you can't. Uh, huh? What? Why? Because you, you're four. Because it's impossible. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Why? <laughs> Bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So th then he does a bunch of math. Yeah. Of course, two teams can't go through the same door. But ba basically, they can't do this. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck me, I guess. <clears throat> I'm not allowed to have anything I want. Option A, have three, five, and eight go through door seven. Four, mm -hmm. six, seven go through door eight. Option B. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Option C: three, six, seven go through seven. Four, five, mm -hmm. eight get eight. Those are the only three options. That's it. At least if we want to get all six of us out of here. Huh? Wait. Uh huh. Wait, that? I'm having a thought. <laughs> but that means five and six can never be on the same team. My oh, girlfriend. No. Thank oh, God! No. I mean, oh no! <laughs> we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. Have you bowled it over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. Seven or eight. Can't choose three. If you choose three, you're gonna be leaving three <laughs> people behind to die. Good. Do it. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Right. Let's quit oh my god, Santa. He's just like sitting directly next to Junpei going seven or eight. Eight or seven in his ear. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Which one? Which what? one, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Not three. <laughs> thinking it over, his conclusion was Take the risk and choose three, you bitch. Damn, that's nah, great. man. I want to go door seven. Fuck Lotus right now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Plus, I, I like seven more than I like Lotus anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Five is right out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, five. <laughs> I'll go with door seven. Okay. Seven, seven it is. Yeah! All right then. That means June's gotta go through eight. No. Why? Leave me with the mean we lady. Went through the whole explanation, June. I was thinking about snails because Layla mentioned snails over there, so I was like, "Oh yeah, snails are all really cool." Yeah, they got nice shells. Can't blame me for that one. Yeah. Junpei, you figured it out, right? Can you explain it to her? I already explained it once. No, I don't want to listen. No, Junpei, you don't. Okay. okay, so June, if we want oh, all six of us to go through a door, <laughs> takes oh, her by the fucking shoulder. I black. Hold on, I blacked out. Oh no! <laughs> it's that fucking meme picture of the dude shouting at the yeah, sports game yeah. into his girlfriend's ear. Yeah. All right, so if we choose three. <laughs> okay, so you're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. <laughs> Come on, you're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. I mean, might I mean I might die. You might die, you know. We gotta split up, but only for a while. 
Okay. Just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We no. got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewheres? Yeah, probably. Hmm. Probably? I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. I mean, it's a boat. What? What makes you think so? It's a boat. <clears throat> if they don't, then neither team can get through door 9. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. Hey. I'm damn sure. That son of a bitch wants <laughs> us to have his fun as long as possible. Hmm. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Um. Everything's hmm. gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Maybe we should have chosen door. Maybe we should have chosen door, chosen chosen door hmm. eight because that's the closest one to nine. And we could have gotten out of here fast. No, that's not how it no. works. <laughs> yes. Promise. <gasps> Promise. Oh. You guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. Alright, we're ready to go then. Let's move. <laughs> that that was uh... a little bit of a stare down. Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Fuck. It's both me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's go! Everybody put your hand on the fucking thing! Oh. This is probably a bad time to mention I'm claustrophobic. Can't believe You probably could have mentioned that at the beginning of the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's open! I didn't notice we was on a boat. <laughs> Let's do this! <laughs> Hurry! You got your flippy floppies? Because we're on a boat. I keep changing what fucking area of England she's from. Uh, everywhere. <laughs> the answer is everywhere. <laughs> we traveled a lot. Yeah. <laughs> June. Gabby! What the hell are you doing, Junpei? Don't Wait. kiss her right now. Junpei, I forgot to give you a pretzel, Junpei! <laughs> a pretzel? Yeah. Only 81 seconds left. Only 80 seconds left. Only 79 <laughs> seconds left. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Only 78 <laughs> seconds left. Oh, no! Look! The door on the left! I can see the date! Get it. Wow. Oh, thank Christ! Paint. Paint, paint. <laughs> <laughs> it, it stopped. It stopped. <laughs> <laughs> This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but... Oof. You never really get used to it. Mm -hmm. I would've thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. Damn. What <clears throat> the hell did you just say? Say it again, I dare you! Put him up! <laughs> you have no... You, you little... Do you wanna die? Oh shit. I'd like to see you try! 
You fucking brat. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna win? Calm down, guys. This isn't the time for uh this. You should have gone in the party door, damn. I know, right? Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> it's not gonna do us any good. Um. Gosh. Wait here for a minute, all right? Don't kill each other. I'm gonna go see if there are any other doors. Okay, who do you think would win in a fight, Sydney or Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> I think Sydney would. Really? <laughs> they both yeah. lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Layla, you're right. June does sound like Amy in the real-time Sonic Phantom. Oh my god, dude! I'm Amy! Sonic! Sonic! <laughs> oh my god. Sonic, just, you can't just... eat that chili dog! Sorry! <laughs> we just came through this door, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short hallway on the left here, and an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. <laughs> this door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door. Where? Right here. And she fucking holds up her middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> on that iron plate. It says up a reading room. I bet it says it above the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. They don't Ooh. keep body parts in the operating room, dingus. Well, it yours says are gonna all be. Orating room. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This walks into a theater. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Oops. Surgery theater? Yeah. <laughs> I love surgery theater. Oh. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. It'll be fine. For you lot, I love body parts. Hmm? Good for you. Alright, that's fucking weird. Well, there's no <laughs> point to standing around. I'm I don't like that away. she said that right after talking about your balls a bunch. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I don't like it either. <laughs> Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Maybe some feet. <laughs> no oh, feet. Uh, I have feet! And I just barged in here! <laughs> what's wrong? No, it's nothing. Let's just go. What, your tummy hurt? Huh? What the hell is this? An operating theater. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Body parts. Yeah! <laughs> nice scream. Whoa! Clover! Hey, what's wrong? What the hell is this? Oh, I, I vaguely remember this part. <clears throat> yeah, we were in it. It, is this a corpse? <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> we should probably take a closer look. Give Ew, it a sniff. you first. Give it a sniff, yeah. Junpei. I mean, it has yep, feet. Yep, that's a corpse. <laughs> wow. Is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. <laughs> you idiot. Sculpted right. It's a huge doll or something. Doll? Yes, a mannequin. Phew. You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. Eh. Well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Damn. Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty! Oh, what's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? <laughs> I'll end your life. I'll wring your neck. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, bring it on, you whale. Hey, guys. Not again, okay? Seriously. I am very oh. uncomfortable with the energy we've created in the studio today. <laughs> Stop trying to attack a little girl. <laughs> hmm. 
he's... Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. I'm talking about a heart! I'm talking about eyeballs! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, this? You mean his chest? He just, like, picks it up and bites it like an apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? This is a surgery room. It could heart. be an anatomical dummy. Come on. Then why doesn't it have Think an anatomical heart? <laughs> could... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Junpei. Think things through. Fuck you. I don't think it's a doll. Do you think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? That'd be ridiculous. <clears throat> or maybe it's got more... <laughs> personal uses? Oh my god. <laughs> uh... Anyway! anyway. <laughs> How about we take a look around this place? Let's go! <laughs> Walks away. Okay. <laughs> Sure thing. I will be with the mannequin. We will not fuck actually. the mannequin. Actually, you will not be with the mannequin. I will be with the mannequin. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh, time to do this. way out. Oops. Oh no. This is the room. I bumped my oh, desk God. and knocked out Hikaru. Oh no! Oh, Red for Hikaru. He's gotta go! <laughs> he had to go! <laughs> Karu, no, go! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, you sit here, buddy. Hey. I wonder what that- this thing is. It says KG on the display. It stands for Cool Girls! <laughs> um, <laughs> you think maybe it's a scale? Probably. An operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? Probably. I have no idea. They did in England. Oh. Operating table. A white cloth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> These dolls are really kind of creepy, you know. Hey, it says something here. John? Oh, oh my god, it's oh, John. No. Oh my god, it's John! <laughs> you think that's this doll's name? Maybe? Oh. Maybe? This thing is creepy! <laughs> I wonder why it's on the bed. Stop! Table. Stop! Just stop being you! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> oh, some junk. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a woman. Another medical mannequin? From the looks of it, this one's a chick. What? From the looks of a head? head and an arm. <laughs> yeah, they're very feminine. <laughs> I'm head and arms. She has a name too. Lucy. Lucy. Oh, what? Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and a left arm. If only my ex-wife only had those things. Damn. <laughs> well. Okay. Well, maybe we're supposed to gather all her. To gather all her parts. Some kind of device attached to the bed. It says KG on the panel. Is this mm. a scale? You take out the heart, a heart's a heavy burden. Mm -hmm. They use these for surgery, right? Or yeah, based what do you in think turkeys? They do with this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Syringes, cups. A plate, an obvious butt pump. <laughs> There's a sort of scissorish thingy, and what looks They're to be. Very... Oh, drumsticks! Really 
Yeah, I think you need the scissors. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful where you're pointing those. Are oh, those scissors? They look kind of funny. No, that's probably a pair of coca forceps. Surgeons use them during operations. They can hold blood vessels shut, keep tissue out of the way. We can use it to pull small stuff- ah, stuff out of small holes. Something like that. Forceps? More like borceps! Am I right? <laughs> Please laugh! <laughs> I lost my brother! Please laugh! <laughs> <laughs> you lost your brother, haha. <laughs> What's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Why did you lose him? He's so tall. <laughs> Maybe it's a heater. There's nothing inside it. I keep thinking that's me. I'm sorry, bud. Just remember, the other people show up on the other side. Junpei's lines show up on the other. No, but that's not consistent. Sometimes have sometimes, yeah. No, it's not consistent. Remember, I can't read. Why can't you read? We found a chest. No one ever taught me how. Oh. Ew. Ew, that's gross. This is the chest. It's a woman's chest. Oh my god. <laughs> the heart's gone, but it's pretty hot. <laughs> oh my god, Seven. <laughs> if that kind of thing turns you on, Seven, you're a real creepo. Oh, then. Well, then I'm a real creepo. Because oh, I'm hot as a rock. <laughs> oh god. Maybe you were supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill the bacteria. There's a boiling thingy over there. Nothing on the lid or in the drawers. I feel like you guys are ignoring me. The drawer is empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing here. A lot of different kinds of medication. It's hard to tell them apart. Yeah. Okay, so that was the only thing over here? I think so. At least for now. A whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. They've got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. <laughs> A lot of medicine! I wonder if one of these is a laxative. Um... You need hmm. this shit in the next five hours, dude? Come on. <laughs> Just wait till after. Mm. That sounds kind of gross, but I'm pretty sure every one of us has had the same idea. Oh yeah, they wanted to shit out the bomb. I forgot about that. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. If we had some laxatives, maybe we could crap out the bomb Zero put in us. <laughs> I'd like to drop off some other bombs, too, if you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately. Dean. <laughs> I don't know what medicine does what here. Hmm. Layla said, oh look, more soap or ill. We can all take a nap together. <clears throat> Medical mannequin with its guts showing. Oh gosh. Ew. Gross. Icky. <laughs> hey Junpei. There's a slit in this thing's chest. Uh huh. Yeah, it sure is. There's something in there. <laughs> Maybe we can get it out. <clears throat> <laughs> Damn it. Stinking thing won't budge. Hmm. It's stuck. Well, I guess you can't use force on this one then. Unless it seps. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Please laugh! I lost my brother! <laughs> <laughs> we need something small that can fit into that little hole. What could that possibly be? My friend said. <laughs> 
He got a fake oh. organ. Ew. Eat it. Gulp. <laughs> so we took the organ thingy out of the chest thingy. She likes to say thingy. It's a lung. Oh. It's a lung. <laughs> Not an organ thingy. Huh? It looks like Pollock Row. <laughs> this part here on the back. So rubbery. You're right. Oh, it's a fake organ. Of course it'd be... Wait. What's Seven grabbing it for? You know what he's grabbing it for. <laughs> he's got a dark desire. No! <laughs> hey, it feels like there's something in here. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna bite it open. Oh, wow. You think we can cut through the rubber part? Uh, oh. I gotta go find a damn scalpel. Uh, table. Oh. Well, Ooh. I wonder which one you have to take. Uh, <laughs> clearly the one that looks not like it's bumping out of the picture tree. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of surgery stuff. There's some scalpels, a, pair, a few pairs of forceps, and a couple of syringes. All of it's too rusty to be useful, though. Hey, there's a scalpel here that looks new! Why? Sedgery! Sedgery! Oh no! Grave Careful robber! <laughs> a scalpel that's not rusty. It seems seems like, like it was put here for a reason, huh? Yeah. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can really read my mind, Junpei. I'm pretty good at that. You think it's telling us to cut something? Nah. I feel like that, that's bolded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, I get it. Let's cut off our, our uh, watches off our wrists. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Oh, look, Zydrate. No. Yep. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Let's try cutting this organ with a scalpel. Organ key! Oh, wow. There's a key in this organ! This is why you shouldn't smoke. What? Found a key in an internal organ. Oh. Don't inhale keys, kids. <laughs> <clears throat> this is why you're not supposed to sniff your keys. <laughs> but I wanna! Is that why? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Wooden partition. Driver, roll up the partition, please. Hmm. Nothing special about it. Hey, do you guys like Beyonce? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> This bed doesn't look very comfortable. She'd be much more comfortable in my arms. Okay. Maybe something will happen if we gather all her body parts. That's what I was just yeah, trying to. One put... of them. Yeah, I was just trying to put one on the table, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess. Yes. Yeah, okay. Preparation room. <gasps> Prep. I I thought you said reparation room, and I'm like, ah, oh, good, good. <laughs> yeah. It says, Preparation Room. I'm glad you can read, Clover. It's locked! Oh my god, if only we had a key. Cool, it's unlocked! Yay! <laughs> Ooh, hooks. I think oh. you hang your coat here. That's a bunch of hooks. <laughs> no fucking way. So you guys aren't from Texas, so you don't know, but there's this really Texas? small- yeah, there's this really small town uh, that used to host the rodeo every year called Pecos, Texas. Uh -huh. uh, and you really only know it when you're driving west and nothing's in West Texas, so there's no real point. But uh, <laughs> there's this big billboard right before you get to Pecos that says, Hang your hat in Pecos, Texas! <laughs> and anytime I see like little hooks like that, I, I sometimes think about it. <laughs> Hang your hat! Hang your hat in 
Pike is Texas. <laughs> this guy looks just like a big cowboy on the side of it. You can't make me hang my hat. <laughs> you, you can remove my cowboy hat from my cold, dead body. <laughs> We're gonna hang it. No! Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the cabinet with a drawer in it. No freaking way. See it. Huh. Piece of paper and a clipboard. Yeah. What's this? Is this some kind of medical record? New yeah. material has been added to the file screen. Oh my um, god! Um, medical record. Second. All right, it's got records for the two mannequins. It's about a male mannequin named John and a female named Lucy. The record yeah. shows each mannequin's total weight and the weight of their individual parts. Great. We're gonna Love have it. to do some fucking math. I don't Ew. like it. I don't like math. There we go. Jamie, just look it up. I mean, I have it open, so I don't Good. <laughs> I don't want any math. I don't want it. Okay. Oh. Wow, oh. Lucy weighs more than John. Oh my god. It's been left in the drawer. Oh, bitch. Ah! I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's. She just sat on the bench and it's comfy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's the sound I make when I finally get down. Start singing, practicing my scales. Ah! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Don't you want to get out of here? But I'm tired. Uh, I don't wanna. Ooh, some weird shit. Oh, lasers. Got some Ooh. fucking lasers. There's a ray of light going through the beaker, and it's hitting the thing on the right. Wow. The white light on top of it, it, on the top, is glowing. Yeah, but the red, blue, and purple ones still aren't lit. What the fuck? Holy shit. Hmm. You get to deal with light. Hmm. It won't open. It looks like it's locked. There's a red plate on it. Do you think that means something? Damn. It's not opening. Locked, of course. The blue plate on here seems a little suspicious, though. Blue sus? <gasps> blue sus? Oh no. oh no. Damn. It's not opening. It won't even budge. It's got this purple plate on it, too. Okay. Guess we gotta do something to get it to open. A sink. The doctors and nurses probably washed their hands here before an operation. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Nothing suspicious here. We should keep going. We should get away from this. <laughs> lock on the door. The key I've got won't open it. Fuck. What's this? A light switch? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. Okay, well. Back to the other room? Yeah. I think there's another... Yeah. Chemical room. Awesome! It's unlocked! Yeah! Here's the chemical room. Chemical. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Blue liquid. 
Mysterine, my favorite! Glug glug. Red liquid. <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> Do it on top of the table. Iron equals one, salt equals two, water equals three, carbon dioxide equals question mark, ammonia mm -hmm. equals question mark, ethanol equals question mark. What do you think this is a hint for? Maybe it's got something to do with this box? Nah. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Junpei, you think there were any slugs on this ship? All kind of slugs. Like the animal, or like lead. <laughs> huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on them. You little you know, psychopath! Like a psychopath would! What's she doing? The label states knackle. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sodium chloride! That's what I said! <laughs> Do you think Seven will shrivel up if we put it on him? No, wow. I don't think so. I hope he does. <laughs> hey. You say something? Uh-oh. Do you say something crazy, actually? Should I be afraid of her? <laughs> Maybe. One time, when I was living in the terrible apartments, I found a big slug on my wall. Oh, yum. Like a big-ass slug. And I was like, oh, man, a slug! And so I carried it back outside. <laughs> That's pretty Good. cool. Yeah, it's, it was huge. Wow. I wonder how we got in. Junpei, there's a bottle of iron powder on this shelf. There's a wattle bottle. <laughs> how do you know it's iron? I tasted it myself. The oh. label says... <laughs> 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 Stands for iron, right? Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Hmm. Something stinks. Uh oh. Is it ammonia? Yes. <gasps> oh, I just totally skipped them. <laughs> Is it what's in this bottle? Is it N? It says NH3. Well, <laughs> that of course stinks. It's ammonia. Smell it real hard. Yeah, I, I I love burning my sinuses out. Woohoo! Okay. Uh... Ooh, good stuff. Let's go for a drink. Ethanol time. You can't drink straight ethanol from a lab. What are you talking <laughs> about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says C2H5O, right? Oh! <laughs> oh! That's right. Also known as ethyl alcohol. Yo! <laughs> it's pretty much what booze is made of. So, you're gonna drink it? <laughs> no, nah, I won't. They might say that's what's on the label, but there could be anything in there. There you go, no lab safety! By... Don't drink the shit in the lab! Yeah! I won't be tricked by a bleach bottle again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what's this? Looks like a can with a spray nozzle. Ooh. It says, uh, go to. <laughs> it's a can filled with carbon dioxide. No, I, I just said it's Coke 2. Coke. Hey, Junpei! There's dihydrogen monoxide on the shelf. No, oh, scary! Oh. Why don't you just say water? <laughs> 
I think you can open the box. Angular there. table. I wonder, did people mix medicine on this thing? I wonder. Alright, well... No, okay. Well... <clears throat> Nevin? Well, look at the first line. Maybe uh represents a number? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't uh, remember how to solve this. Well, I in is one. Well, I have the solution, so. Oh, sick. Heal. Box is locked. Looks like you have to enter a passcode on the keypad to open it. I can only enter three numbers. E is for wow. enter and C is for clear. Okay, I'm not gonna. Let's give it a shot. Uh, enter three, four, nine. Yay! We're so fucking smart. Woohoo! Right arm. Hell yeah! How'd they fit that in the box? I think it's a they bigger box. They folded it. Looks like. Oh my god, it's bigger on the inside. Carefully. <laughs> it's the right arm of the body. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> you think if we put her together, she'll turn into a person and then make us do a, a game? Can we combine her oh my chest God. with her arm? I hope so. I hope she turns on. <laughs> I hope we make another doll, like, in fucking Your Turn to Die. That's, yeah, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm talking about it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're all on the same page. Yeah! <laughs> A heart. This is- this thing is super creepy! Everything's oh. creepy! Uh. <laughs> yeah, I feel This ain't good for the heart. Oh, I get sure? it? Please laugh, my brother disappeared. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You think we should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Junpei, carry me. Carry me there. Hmm? Hey, Seven. What's up? Time for exposition. I think I'm having a memory. Whoa! Oh, well... Is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. <laughs> oh, you yeah. took that fucking sober stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh. Ethylene diamine tartrate. Nice. Alakazam. Bibbity bobbity boo. Layla said, What? Too soon? Carry me, my brother disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. It's EDT. It's Electronic it's... Dance Tuzik. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Yo. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up, but you can also get crazy high by huffing it. Ooh, clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still. You wanna get crazy high? Looks like it's cleaned my brain up. Uh-oh. Mm. You remember something? Yeah. I love drugs. Oh. <laughs> well, I remember a story about EDT. I hope you're prepared to do this <laughs> voice for a long time. I think it's monologue time. Let yep. me take a, a LaCroix drink real quick. Ah, uh, thank you, sponsored by LaCroix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It happened about 50 years ago. 
there was this factory somewhere in America. Have you heard of the place? Making mm. big old EDT crystals. They were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. Turns out it was meth. But... A year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. The thing you're supposed to be doing right now, everybody take a sip. Once the crystal turns into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. Why would you use that as a cleaner, then? Because you- mm -mm. Yeah. It's not like you can dry it out, either. Yeah. Well, you don't need water to clean anything, so... I mean, technically. <laughs> I'm so confused by this. I know. I, I like, am, too. Don't you usually use water along with some- some, like, detergent or whatever, just to, like- I like to use out. water- water with my detergent! Yeah, usually. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you mix really, like, water I've been, with bleach. I've so. been using pure clothes detergent to wash my clothes. You guys don't take <laughs> dust baths like chinchillas? <laughs> Not usually. I mean, all I gotta do is walk outside, you know? Jimmy, That's you've been to my way. place. What did you think of my sand pit? I liked it. I built- I built a castle, remember? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. And I destroyed it with my body to get clean. How dare you? I worked so hard on that. <laughs> the factory just had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. You just said that! I needed to say it again. <laughs> but it didn't end there. It never does. After that day, the same thing started happening in ADT factories everywhere. Even ones nowhere near that first American factory. It's almost like it was a bad idea to do that. They'd been making crystals in the same way. With the same materials and the same equipment and environment. I doubt it's the same environment. Yeah. That's not how environments work. Even in America, <laughs> you go from, like, Philly to Chicago, you go through, like, five different biomes. Yeah. Even, even if they're referring to, like, the same climate control inside of a building, it's still very, very hard to actually control that. Yeah. yeah especially, like... Everywhere has different moisture levels and yeah, different altitudes and different like, fucking stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> now it's summertime and it's humid as shit. In fact, what? ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. What? Even in EDT research done years before, they'd, n they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just... spread. It was like... Man, how do you say it? Like zombies. Like the molecules were communicating with one another? Mm. Transmitting information in a way humans can't perceive? <gasps> This phenomena spread throughout the world, right? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's... That's it. Exactly. But... How did you know? I heard another story kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. <laughs> what? The freezer? The freezer. Yeah, June told me. Recites the entire conversation. So oh, there's boy. this thing called Ice Nine, right? Oh no. And then he's like, you, you, you talked this long when you were stuck and freezing to death in a freezer. You know it, buddy. I'm yeah. sorry, is this not 999? <laughs> Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? 
I need that for my next mix mixer. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah, hold up. I feel like I can remember something. Oh, it's your brain right there. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Do you? Ice Nine was. Yeah, do you know about Ice Nine? We love Ice Nine. know about Ice Nine. Ice Nine's my favorite. Ice Nine? Ice Nine. Ice Nine! Ice Nine! Ice Nice. <laughs> nice. Ice Nine. Ice. Ice. Ice Ice Baby? Ice! <laughs> That's it! I remember now! Oh, that shit. woman! She's on this boat! Oh my god. That woman. Alice. Who's Alice? Alice. Alice? Come on. Or... The woman who won't melt at room temperature. Huh? You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Oh god. <laughs> at exactly 4.03 a.m.? <laughs> Yeah, more than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Uh, I think that was the RMS Carpathia, right? Why do these people what? know so much about t the Titanic? I was people... literally about to say that. Like, why does everybody know about every detail of the Titanic? I don't know. They know random weird shit. Like, it's just weird. <laughs> It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. Uh-huh. No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. The ship that collected the dead bodies was the C.S. McKay Bennett. Mm -hmm. The sexiest ship on the sea. The <laughs> McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. It set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. The Atlantic, that far north, was really cold. It would have have to be for there to be icebergs and stuff. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. This isn't a very nice story. <laughs> what happened next? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things that the drowned had carried with them, or stuff that dislodged as the ship sank. One of the things they found was a coffin. Like a whole coffin. Whoa. Yeah, like a whole coffin, a wooden Whoa. one. Oh shit. The craftsmen who'd made it must have been pretty skilled. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood. No nails, no reinforcements, and no gaps in the wood anywhere, even though it was in the ocean water. That's crazy. The thing was airtight. Crazy that the wood didn't warp in the water. I was gonna, like, what the fuck? Of course it's gonna warp! The crew got pretty curious about what might be inside it, and opened it up. They had to get a wedge and hammer to open it. It was so well made. Inside... They found a woman, or I guess you should say, they found the dead body of a woman. Her hair was thick and black and her skin rich brown with no blemishes or signs of decomposition. They say that she looked gorgeous, like a goddess. Oh, is that why she's not wearing a shirt? She was obviously dead, but everyone who looked at her said she looked just like she was sleeping. Her skin was so lifelike, she looked like she might wake up any minute. She didn't know. 
Like the rest of the bodies they found, she was frozen solid. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching and returned to Halifax. The 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. Gross. They yeah. say that the stink was horrible. But there was one body that didn't thaw. And that was... The girl in the coffin. <gasps> I was gonna say the sexy lady, but yeah, that's right. <laughs> Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them eventually. But weeks passed, and nothing happened. When a month passed, and another, and it was summer, and she was still frozen solid. I just left her outside. <laughs> After a while, people started to say she was some sort of miracle. <gasps> Rumors about her started to shred. Spread, sorry. She started to shred. No! <laughs> <laughs> they used her for margaritas. It was no! real intense. Some people came to visit Halifax from all over. After a while, people started to call her All Ice. <gasps> Alice. Oh my god. Of course, those rumors didn't last long. Why? <clears throat> well, she up and disappeared. One day, Alice was there. The next day, she wasn't. Guess she didn't like the name Alice. <laughs> they say She's someone not... snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. With the body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. And after a while, no one remembered her. You might be able to find something about her if you could find a newspaper from back then, but that's about it. Wait, you just said she was on this boat. Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on this ship. Why do you say that? Now why the hell would you say something like that? <laughs> I'm crazy. Because I know. But she disappeared! And just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen? Right? Tell me. What happened to Alice? Well, after I stole her. <laughs> after I stole her? Well, around that time, the word was that there was a special uh, sale on the black market in New York. All millionaires from all over the world. I've heard that Alice went up for auction there. Mm -hmm. the like how who they the just used the was... same picture of her, so she's facing directly toward the camera, despite the angle of the coffin. It's like those Jesus. She pictures. shifted. She's always looking at you. Oh, <laughs> Please be cautious when opening the overhead bins, as some Alice may have shifted during transit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> The person who won the auction was my father, Lord oh. Dashiell Gordain. What? You've heard that name before, right? He's my no. dad. Lord Gordain. My dad. My dad. Isn't he the guy who bought the gigantic? The Titanic sister ship? Yeah. Gigantic. That's him. Although I guess he hadn't done that yet. What do you mean? Lord Dane bought Alice in 1912, then, in four years later, in 1916, he bought the Gigantic. Wow. And he hid Alice somewhere on the Gigantic. But nobody knows where. <laughs> he died in 1931. And apparently, he died without ever telling anyone where Alice was hidden. Damn. Dick. <laughs> However. However, what? Well, he did have one close friend who asked him. Where is Alice? 
And he said, Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge, beneath the navel of the gigantic. Oh. What the hell is that? Some kind of riddle? And exactly some kind of riddle. Your <laughs> guess is as good as mine. <laughs> so that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the gigantic. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this very ship. Hmm. Hey! What are you two doing over there? Chatting. Yeah. Stop wasting time and get over here! You've been it talking doesn't... for like 45 minutes! <laughs> okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez. Assholes. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's the story. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Alice, huh? All ice, huh? Alice from your turn to die, huh? Oh, you... that's me! Oh my god! <laughs> that mummy wasn't a normal mummy! It was <laughs> my mummy! <laughs> your mom? She was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it was put on the Titanic. Enough, enough. Even though it was carried to the dessert, her body never melted. Then was that Egyptian priestess Alice? Did the water in her body become Ice Nine? No, that's nuts. There's no way somebody like that could exist. All right. Anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> I think we were trying to make a guy. Make a guy? Oh shit. Can't just <laughs> make a guy. Okay. What? Did you guys hear June? <laughs> Junior, you're supposed to be with your group! You're gonna yeah. get us killed! I got in the vents and now I'm stuck! God <laughs> fucking damn it, June! Can you open your vent? Maybe I can get out. I'm not sus like you. I can't open vents. Shit! Well, <laughs> damn it! Guess I gotta force my way through! Here I go! <laughs> <laughs> clang, clang, clang! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, put the... Oh, do you want to do it, or do you want me to tell you? You can tell me. I've solved this once before already. Okay. To go. Uh, put the blue liquid in there. Wonderful. Hey, the blue light turned on. And I heard a noise. It sounded like something unlocking. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, I guess you pour it back in the bottle. Yeah, I... <clears throat> Got a leg. Whoa! This is the left foot of the mannequin. It's a leg, too. Do you think I'm better? What? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Do you think my legs are skinnier? Um, <laughs> this is a mannequin. Yeah, <laughs> and they're supposed to be what I base my self-worth on. So do I look better than the mannequin, Junpei? You're a child. Yeah! <laughs> okay, then you can put the other one in there. And then you gotta do both. I have yeah. a vague memory now of how that works. Yeah. It's pretty good. The red light's on now. I think I heard another noise. Leg. Wow! Another leg! <laughs> well, I guess I... 
the right oh the right foot of the medical mannequin do you think i'm better <laughs> do you think i'm better junpei <laughs> I guess it's a woman's foot, but oh, damn, shit. doesn't look hard at all. Uh, it's also a leg. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a foot, a foot's a foot. You know, a well, foot's not doing nothing for me. They usually oh, do. No. Here we go. Have you oh. got a thing for feet, Seven? No, that 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 that's crazy. <laughs> You sure acting kind of shady. Oh no. Oh. You're acting kind of shady. Ain't calling me baby. Really? I don't like the liquid noises. Yeah. Liquid. Liquid. <laughs> I get it. You gotta make the light do the light. You combined the red <laughs> liquid. And the blue liquid to make a purple one. I didn't know we were in kindergarten. <laughs> You'd be surprised at what people don't know. Oh no. A job, Junpei! <laughs> the purple light came on and I heard it on lock. Purple is a mixture of red and blue. I'm sure it's unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck you. Let's see what blah, happens. Blah, blah, blah! The locker, the locker! Yep. The piss jar. <laughs> no, it looks Ooh. like a nose. It does! <laughs> we got Take a the big nose old piece. whiff. God, there's a top of her butt cheeks. Whoa. It's weird that, like, if you look at the top, she's got uh, the mechanisms of, like, she's hollow. She's very much, like, designed to look like a ball jointed doll but like mm -hmm. she's not gonna string together with elastic so i don't know what the point of maybe she's got pegs inside that she hooks into oh, who knows can you I look at the just... legs i want to see the top of the legs i i just need to no she's definitely supposed to be strong all right never mind <laughs> yeah. it's not like we're stringing her up together anyway we're just yeah down. i just weird that you would string a mannequin it's huge yeah you need a really strong elastic well she's meant to be you know just laying around <sighs> time to put together our girlfriend Thank. okay so we've collected the six parts of the medical mannequin so the ones we've got must be for, for, for lucy right yeah probably Maybe. Seems like it. Well, I say we give Lucy her parts back. Wow. Any objections? Nope. Can I have the chest? No. I mean, agreed. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Combine. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking idiot. He did it. Good job. Hey. Nothing happened. Oh shit. That's odd. I guess we have to swap out her parts so that she weighs the correct amount. Maybe it's the wrong weight. Oh, well, it's me. Maybe it's the wrong weight. Wait? Wait for what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know how there's a scale on the side of the bed. Maybe we need to get the scale to a specific number. How are we gonna do- oh. How are we gonna do that? <laughs> Start oh, using body parts! Yeah. <laughs> I think we're supposed to swap her body parts with John's. Creepy. Oh. oh. I wish I could do that with a boyfriend. Um. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Operating instructions. The screen will display two medical mannequins. Switch their body parts by selecting the part you want to switch out. Okay, uh, switch, switch everything, except the heart. <clears throat> oh, okay. Wow! Well, uh... <laughs> hey, Junpei, I just heard something with my ears! Oh. I 
came from John's operating table. It exploded! We gotta <laughs> check it out. Hmm, I guess I'll wander my ass over there. Old operating table, medical mannequins laying on it. Um, there we go. Hey John, nice tits! Hey Junpei, <laughs> look at the scale! Huh? The lid on the scale? <gasps> hey, it opened! <gasps> Oh, I get it. Must have opened because we matched John's weight to what's on the chart. How yeah. about that? Oh my god. Jupiter key. Wow. Time to get more stupider. There's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a mark engraved on this key. I think it's the Jupiter symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I don't know what that was. Oh. I don't know why it only happened when I said Jupiter symbol. What the oh fuck God. is going on? What happened again? <laughs> Unlock. Hey, hold on. Uh -oh. I, I can't afford to get more stupider. <laughs> <laughs> Silver can't go because only boys go to Jupiter. <laughs> um, what's up? Where's Clover? Oh shit! Huh? She's fucking the mannequins! I Dude, know it! She went to Jupiter first! God oh, damn it, no. where the hell did she go? Arg. Okay, just hold on a minute, I'll go get her. Arg. Okay, Charlie Brown. Arg. Sure thing. Clover! Hey Clover, what's wrong? Come on, let's get out of here. This mannequin's my new brother! <laughs> what are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? How old do you think she is? Two. <laughs> hey, Clover, can you hear me? My brother might be dead. <laughs> What's that saying? Huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. Mm. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Very helpful, Junpei. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Jeez. What's your deal? <laughs> what do you want to do? Oh yeah, I gotta give her the clover, isn't it? Yeah, give her the clover. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's in my pocket somewhere. Ah, here it is. Crumpled up and mushed. <laughs> Four leaf clover. Hey, did you know? Each leaf did you know gaming? What? Hey, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hope, faith, love, and luck. That's just That's a theory. What a Four leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. Oh, it's, it's bold. bold. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, they yeah. know. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith. <laughs> <laughs> and to have love. <laughs> love. <laughs> Hell yeah. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Oh no. Mita is coming back. Oh, I need to! Yeah. Fuck my lock! <laughs> oh god, there he is! Snake, I mean, your brother. Snake. He's not dead. Snake. He's alive. Snake. I'm sure of it. You just gotta believe in that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. I don't care what that fucking gorilla wants. <sighs> I want Wait. to leave. <laughs> Wait. Before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word... Experiment? What? <laughs> uh, what? Oh. 
Uh-huh. I guess it was just a coincidence then. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh, look, I'm sorry. I don't want to be a jerk, but you're making less than no sense right now. Oh, no, no, no. It it's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh, don't give me that. You really think I could just drop this? Drop it, Junpei. We gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> what is this experiment you were talking about? Time for another monologue. You promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Really? Really. I can trust you, right? Of course you can. What? Voice sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the experiment. Oh. Okay. Okay then. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. Wait, wait, wait. On this ship? Nine years, nine hours, nine people, nine doors. <laughs> yeah, this hmm. ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Communicating through these hmm. fields that you can't see. Fields that you can't see? Like, do you already. This. You've heard this story like three times now. At least, maybe four times? Five what? times? Well, this 100. is clearly the first you're hearing about it. Think about it like this. Nine times. <laughs> this is John, right? But is he really John? Isn't this like Lock Socks? Or the ship of Theseus? You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? I've never heard of ship and socks and broom. <laughs> ship of Theseus nuts in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was the most butchered I could really do it. <laughs> really? Okay, well, pay attention then. This is how lock socks works. Let's say I've got a pair of socks, and they're my favourite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Throw it away. Catch right it up! Patch it up. <laughs> Throw it away! Well, I guess I'd patch it up some cloth and close up the hole. But what if another hole opens? Well, I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole op opened after that? Well, then these are dog shit socks! Yeah, <laughs> time to get new ones. Yeah, how are, th how are they my favorite socks again? Yeah, yeah for real. Ones. Well, let's just say you keep adding new patches until eventually the original cloth is the so of the sock is totally gone. Once you get to that point, can you really say they're the same socks you started with? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's tough. So that's the lock socks thing? Yeah, the ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship of Theseus, if you keep fixing the damaged parts of a ship, Eventually, it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Can you really say that ship is the same one you started with? And what if you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else with the broken parts? <laughs> then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? The broken shitty one or the repaired one that works? <laughs> the one you repaired, or the one you built with all the original parts? Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. 
Is this John or is it Lucy now? Well, he's still got a head. Yeah, it's yeah. John's head, so it's John. Yeah. Right. I mean, his brain's in there, so. Yeah, and you are your brain. Yeah. Everyone yeah. knows you're your brain. Your brain and your heart and your left arm. Yeah. Your... That's that's what makes up you. Yes. <laughs> mm. John's head and heart are both his. And his left arm. Apart from those in a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Um. Think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die, and new ones are born. Maybe part of my arm was made from stuff... <laughs> made of stuff from a fish I once ate. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. If you take it a little bit further... Those cows and fishes are made up from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Hey! What in the <laughs> hell is taking you two so long? Make it out in here. How long are you gonna make me wait? We don't have time to scroll around! You're all screwing around too much! <laughs> oh? What were you two doing? Oh. Is this some sort of secret meeting? <sighs> no, it wasn't. We were just... kissing. J well, wait, how old are you? How old are you, <laughs> Junpei? Hey, wait a second here! <laughs> just... Playing with the mannequins. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. Playing with the mannequins, huh? Give me a turn, honk honk. Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. Oh boy. Welcome to the club. Oh shit. You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, got him. Jesus Christ, you okay? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking. Just do it, alright? God! I'm expecting one of you to run off again. <laughs> Fine, then. Ship of Theseus nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get going. <laughs> hey man, what's up with you? Ship of Theseus. <laughs> You're so serious, you know? I don't think I'm being serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a real serious problem. Shipping Theseus nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you sound more happy, you know? Get a little excited. Oh, I'm excited to shit Theseus nuts in your mouth. I've never been excited in my life. <laughs> God, I wish we named these episodes. <laughs> we, could, we could name it. Theseus I mean, yeah. nuts. Name it Theseus nuts. Theseus, these nuts. There. Yeah. My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. Oh my god. Flash back. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. You found it. <laughs> you found it. Congratulations. <laughs> now we're on the floor. <laughs> We've died. Here too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. Why are you on the ground? I need to just lay down for a sec. How about that one? May as well Please. give it a try. 
<gasps> June. Oh my God, I'm back, Jeffy. <laughs> huh? She just rises from the hole. June, you're alive. And Santa and Lotus too. Whoa, what the hell is this? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... <laughs> John found Theseus nuts. <laughs> Perfect timing, because we just... I just said that. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you hey, didn't... guys. Hey, guys. Could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. Ugh, it's oh. too- we zoomed in too far! <laughs> We're too close! <laughs> Jun Junpei was like standing right in front of it, turned Ugh. to look at it, and <laughs> Map of the ship's interior. Whoa. It says... Sea Deck. <laughs> so it's the map for this floor, then. Well... Door 7, and... Door... Eight. <laughs> yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. As we discovered. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that what I said? I Does nobody attention. listen to me? Nope. We are gonna split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll each see each other again. Otherwise... We won't be able to open door nine. That's how the nonary game works. What? You idiot. No. <laughs> I see. Explain this nonary game. <laughs> Tell it to me nine more times. <laughs> Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to- let's zoom in a little further, Junpei. So Stick blurry, your Junpei. face right up against the map. Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing the textures that make up the paper. <laughs> Junpei! It's a JPEG! You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> we may as well go. Yeah. Oh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Like, we ever go back and look at the map. Mm hmm Ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh god. Oh, Santa. oh god, he opened it. Ah! Ah! It's dark! I knew it. We're back. In the dark space. Oh. In the hospital room. This is the big hub. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. I've awoken. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors... Seven. And eight. I can't go that much deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Just go monotone. You don't have to go deeper. Seven. <laughs> you solve the puzzles in the operating room. And the laboratory. There you go. <laughs> and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. Good thing that, med that medicine didn't last too long. I think I didn't sleep forever, right? I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. But I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? <laughs> I'm talking about the Jupiter key. <laughs> we found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Ah, oh, the solar system keys. <laughs> the keys for the solar did, system. Did my mouse just die? Oh, no, never oh, mind. No. Oh. <laughs> it's back. It just stopped Yay. responding. Oh no. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. And a head in a jar. It was Ooh. really cool. 
having some issues. I'm gonna save. Oh, okay. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. Now that I've had some issues clicking. Oh. No. Whoa, the Earth King! That is... Here, the Earth Key. Oh. Wait, I might lose it. It's probably better <laughs> if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Because you don't have pockets anywhere on your very scant amount of clothing? Hmm. Are you slut-shaming me? I am no. lack of pockets shaming you. <laughs> That's just as bad. Find some pockets then. <laughs> I'm gonna tie it into my hair. Oh, that would oh, work. Okay. Yeah, it would. Yeah, on it. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Even though we did just use that to get out of the room. Yeah, we used the Jupiter key. What the fuck is he talking about? We didn't use it. <laughs> yeah. Four. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. Oh. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Oh my god, it's so blurry. Yeah. Then... I think that stairs next to the stairs. <laughs> Wait. Oh. What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point in seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Ugh. Huh? Me? <laughs> God damn it. Damn, well, I guess that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> so I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful! <laughs> Whoa! Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. Wow. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. <laughs> All right, bye, assholes! <laughs> okay, we're off. All right. We should get moving, too! Huh? Get moving! Get moving! Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. I want to leave. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting. Jupiter key. <laughs> yes. If we're lucky, we <laughs> might find snake. Snake. Yes. I hope we don't find a snake. <laughs> Here's oh, the Jupiter oh. symbol on the keyhole. Oh. All right, Junpei. Open it if you please. You're the key master. Yeah, I'm on it. 
I do be the keeper of the keys. <laughs> keeper of the keys. Great, back to the beginning. Sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course. Of course there's a reason. I just haven't feeling. thought of it yet. <laughs> of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. You dick. He's dumb. Huh? This. The Saturn keycard. <laughs> and the Earth key? I'm lost. <laughs> Don't you remember, Santa? No. On sea deck where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So the two keys that Jumpy has. Could let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yeah, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. Okay. Now that you did a recap for all of us. You're welcome. What do you say we split into two teams? Ooh. Oops, and I'll search the Earth one, and you two can search Saturn, all right? Oh my god, I love No kissing. Jumpy. We're <gasps> going to do kissing, but you can't. What? Well, oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Sounds good, then you guys should take this key. What if I wanted to go with Lotus and do a kissing? Oh, <laughs> June! <laughs> Hee -hee. <laughs> you can kiss Santa. <laughs> a little bromance. Ooh. <laughs> you have no idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far, just search for ten minutes and come back. Ten minutes isn't a lot of time. There's a card reader next to the left elevator! Let's try out the Saturn key card. <laughs> Great, looks like it's working now. Brants. <laughs> it's pronounced Brants. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now how do I call the elevator? Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. Well, so what does down. that mean, June? Yeah, uh, the down arrow. <laughs> I guess there's no up button. It needs to go up. Well, may as well try pushing this one. Pushes the button. Maybe the elevator will take us under the water. Ooh. Ooh. Under the sea. <gasps> it opened! Look, Jumpy! Have you ever seen an elevator yeah. open? Yeah, I see it. Wow. Sweet. Opened. Let's get going. I've never seen an elevator before. Wait. What? Uh, not really. Oh, I just... Oh, gosh. Yeah? <laughs> probably afraid of being alone with the boy. Alone with the boy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> they can only go down. I'm afraid of down. Well, the lower floors are probably gonna have an up button. Ooh. That's how elevators work, June. I thought they only go down and sideways, like in uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> no, that elevator went literally every direction. That was the whole oh, point of right. that elevator. You're right! That's even more terrifying! It's all yours, Charlie! I want you to have all of it! <laughs> oh my god! Come to think of it, the lower floor... The D-deck is completely underwater. The elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. I'm afraid of it. Hey, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um... 
Well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving. It opened like magic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly like magic. <laughs> yeah! Magic! So, take a look inside. It's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Hmm. They won't be if I pee. Oh, oh you're pee right, they yeah, are! Peter. Maybe I just gotta pee, you know? You're right, they are super dry! Really dry, the driest! Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, let's put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Gets cut in half. Oh, <laughs> there's only two. Don't do that, I've seen Final Destination! Alright, I'll push E. Magic! I I think I can hear an opening on E Dick. It's done. Now I'll just press the button again. We're wasting a lot of time doing this. Yes. <laughs> this is for your peace of mind, June. I mean you could have just pushed me in there. Yeah, but then you'd be mad at me. Mm. <laughs> yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What? What does that mean? <laughs> How, can... How can the E deck be safe if the D deck is full of wavedoo? Well, here's what I think. <laughs> oh god. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated <clears throat> from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, let me show you. No, no, oh dear. Where did you get a marker and paper? I see. So is that why this ship hasn't sunk? This is a terrible drawing, Junpei. This doesn't in this doesn't illustrate shit. I can infer everything about Junpei. everything. Junpei, is this a dick? <laughs> Junpei, why'd you draw no? beans? Why'd you try to do what beans? Do you think like? I've never seen one. I'm pure of heart. <laughs> Did you read this one? Yeah, I did. I like your TIE Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> the shape of the inside keeps it from all filling with water. Looks like a kelp shake. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what's going on. Let's go. I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, alright? No! Um, but... Um, but... Come on, just do it, alright? Um, but... <laughs> um but um but um um but I I'm coming with you. Make way. Huh? H hey, wait. Let me in. I bet they're all squeezed together now. I'm it's squishing. Ah oh, crap! It's closed. I don't want to be alone in an elevator with a g g, -g girl. Oh, you're not trapped in here. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. I oh my God! Jordan, put the gun down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just let you go alone, you know. I might escape. <laughs> Jeez. Who's gonna hold my sleeve? <laughs> We're not holding hands. Looks normal. Mm. Mm. Oh, makes a microwave noise. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! I've had a thought, Jinpei. Okay. Oh, no, knock no, it I, off. I, it's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Oh, Come on, no. just look around. There's no water here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. Are you holding your but... breath? Is that what that sound was? <laughs> Maybe it was. <laughs> See? Mm. But there's a whole lot of water in the ocean, Junpei. <laughs> Yeah, right on top of us! I'm scared of the water. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We'd probably die! Oh no! Don't be so casual about something like that! 
At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can once we're done looking around down here. Can't die before we finish elementary school. <laughs> Lotus and Santa might already be back. <laughs> okay, good idea. Now then. Mm -hmm. Fuck, we can't get very far. Iron <laughs> bars. Well, we can't they go can over totally, there. They could totally squeeze through those openings. They are pretty big. Yeah. Right, I guess. Then maybe... Well... Ooh, six. It looks like there's a long, straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. What does that say? It's nine, upside down. Oh, right shit, up? we found the nine door! We oh, did. shit. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, oh, fuck, God. dude. Oh, shit. Wait, is that... Oh, let's check! I gotta be sure! We can see it! I can't see! I'm, I'm nearsighted! People are... Yeah, both <laughs> of them are. I knew it. This is a number nine! Number door. We can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. What the... Yeah! Wait, what's this? Hmm. Is this the map for E deck? <laughs> I should take it with me. I'm keeping okay. this. Hmm. Going to eat it. Huh, so you guys found door one. <clears throat> so now we've located two new doors the six door and the one door. Oh. It is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Even e so, it's still very interesting. You said the sixth door was there, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Then that means Zero planned all this out with even the sinking. That would have meant something pretty se- that would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah! I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. Would have been a ton, that's for sure. Like nine million dollars in nine whole days. <laughs> Probably something like that. <laughs> Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. <clears throat> the most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. On the floor again. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah? Uh, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Mm -hmm. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Ooh. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Yes! Bye! <laughs> Just kidding. Aww. All right, let's go. Fuck Santa, though. Let's not go with Santa. Aww. <laughs> Hi. Hey, where the hell did you guys go? Found elevator. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> Dad's disappointed. I'm also sad. Oh no. Wrong. What happened? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was. Snake is. Snake is dead. Dun dun dun! He died. Just as the ninth man did. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's not true, is it? 
We should make sure. I don't know about that. Y yeah, right. We should. Wait. Not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Where is... Where is he? The shower room on the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there, too, to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the number door, right? Yeah, that's right. Let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But I, but I like blood! Oh my, no, just cause I'm a like girl! I that when, when we saw the ninth man. Yeah. <laughs> Please, do me a favor, okay? Alright. I'm going to... <laughs> yeah, we took a few steps. Yeah. Uh, Ew! Just like I said. Just like the ninth man. That neuter in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god, the bone is coming out of his left arm. Let's just... It's definitely an open fracture. We don't need to... Okay, we yeah. don't actually need to describe everything because it's yeah for real dumb. Yeah. Can't even tell who it is. The clothes are no mistake about that. It's Snake. <laughs> You're hiding between the beds. <laughs> Just crouch down. Yeah. Snake was probably murdered. Chances are, are he was killed the same way the ninth man was. Ooh, sorry. Oh. This voice always makes me yawn. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Not hard to figure out how they did it. They exploded him. First, the killer got Snake to authenticate the red to open door three. Mm-hmm. Multiple killers. Hmm. Hmm. Then, they shoved him into it, alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, I love this face! <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't work. Inspiration. The detonator was only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in you uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through that door. And then 81 seconds after he was shoved in, he exploded. That happened. The exploding. Yeah, so that's what you meant by killers, huh? Need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't open for Snake in a single killer. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that means we're looking at multiple perps here. I like to call them perps. 
<laughs> well, just in case, I want to make sure. So you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. That means none of us have alibis. We're all off searching the rooms we've been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah. That means anybody could be a killer. Even me. <gasps> You're under arrest, me! Wait, even me? Uh, what a minute, wait a minute, what are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer! No, two! Two killers! <laughs> Only one, no one of us. Two plus. <laughs> Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Oh my god! So it's actually much worse than you thought. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Mm-hmm. What about what I want? <laughs> Nobody cares what you want. No! <laughs> exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Remember in the beginning? Any game has a winner and loser. Loser. Whoever loser. makes <laughs> Whoever makes it through door 9 is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? No way! <laughs> Not a wee. chance! No way! <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to sus fishing. <laughs> We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Friendship. Then, does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly. Zero. Him. Smelf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> Smell. Smell. Zero smelly. <laughs> yeah, him smell. smell Zero can and smelly? Oh my gosh. <laughs> if there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. Zero calls over the loudspeaker. No, I'm not. I'm not. Hey! Could you do anything? <laughs> not smelly. Smelly on the floor. I don't know. I think you're a little bit smelly. Oh, the girl is smelly. You will see. You're the one wearing a gas mask. So you don't have to smell your own stench. <laughs> I don't have to smell your stinky asses. Oh, so that means you are down here with us. Oh, um, um. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> he masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Or adult napped, you might say. <laughs> Doesn't it seem resp reasonable that he would have killed a snake as well? Oh, oh do we have another thing? question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero's on the ship with us. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Junpei wasn't sure. <laughs> Junpei doesn't know. Well, yeah, we're it's not weird sure. how they switch to like asking. Just they switch how they're referring to them. Yeah, yeah. Junpei wasn't sure, and I think on the original, like this is the port on the original. It. It says something like he wasn't sure, I think. Or at least hmm. on earlier choices that I had looked up. Yeah. They used like a pronoun instead of his name. Interesting. Hmm. So they changed like a few things moving from the DS game to. or something. I think it was a DS game. Maybe. That would I make sense. Or a, or a PSP game. Could be. I don't remember. Either. I think it was available on DS, but it might also be... I mean, it might be on multiple things, obviously. 
Well, yeah, that can happen. <laughs> no. Something still strange. Hmm? What was that? You questioning me? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. Hmm, mm hmm And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? I can smell him. Really, Junpei? I confess, I'm a little disappointed. Usually you're rather sharp. Sorry, I started being laughing. A dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my my <laughs> smelling my sense of smell is not very good. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I've trained your nose. Don't be a dick about it. Well <laughs> Anyway. Isn't it obvious? Wait, it is? I hope so. This ship. Huh? <laughs> semantics. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to tell you semantics. Zero said this ship several times when he addressed us. Oh. I am Zero! I am the captain of this ship! Smelly ship. <laughs> this is the proper spot for a flashback. I am not smelly! <laughs> oh, so it's not the, a flashback. <laughs> the purpose of this game is simple! Leave this ship alive! As you have no doubt surmised, this ship has begun to I sink. A flashback now. Come on. We need every this single time. Ship. This ship. <laughs> this ship is on fire. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's a new problem. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's the opposite of the first problem. Anyway, if you weren't here... He wouldn't say this ship, would he? Of course he might say that. <sighs> I hate this reason. He'd be saying something like that ship or the ship. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sure, if you're grasping for straws. If Zero's on the ship, where is he? He said he's the captain. Where do you think he is? Oh. I think... Mm-hmm. I think Zero is mm -hmm. one of us. Hmm. Oh, Dangan Rumpa? No way. <laughs> you mean there's a 16th student? Oh, wait. Was he one of them? Yeah. That's crazy. You're oh, yeah. crazy. Maybe. Gonna do this. Well, that's possibly that's crazy. Uh, possible. Yeah, that's possible. Hmm. Well, that's possible. Wait. <laughs> like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? I'm not Zero! I mean, come back. Are you sure? <laughs> June kind of sus. Purple uh, sus? No! <laughs> Don't shoot me at the airlock, please, I beg you! <laughs> Shoving you in the elevator. No! <laughs> Didn't you hear what Ace said? <clears throat> exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason? I've got a great reason. No reason. You're all that? smelly. You all stink! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The bracelets. I don't stink. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bra bracelets? <laughs> I smell like cotton candy. I don't stink. That's not true. You're Jimmy, all thinking Zero's say? hiding somewhere watching us, right? Mm -hmm. If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something that they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and yeah. a lot easier. But if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? What an amazing thought he just had. <laughs> ah, you got a point. Your Damn. Brain, your brain works? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. You're thinking? Oh my god. Oh my god! What's happening? <laughs> I'm I think you get thinking! Three, you get three gold stars for that, you I'm game. not you're done! Just... I'm no. not done oh. thinking. Oh no! <laughs> Try applying the same ideas to the nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? 
So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. Mm -hmm. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting it. That, yeah, that thing I just said. Yeah. <laughs> Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. Alright then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like, Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Uh, yeah. Something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake equals Zero. Hence, Zero equals one of us. To make it an aces. Seven and Aces theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other very well. He made it a math sentence. God. <laughs> math sentence! No! At least they do if Zero is one of us. One of us. It, what, are we, what were his motives? This? Mm -hmm. Motives? Yes. Isn't that pretty important? Mm. Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because... Um... It's this is where my brain great. stopped working. Oh, his brain turned I... off. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he used up all the steam. Oh, great. Well, we broke him. <laughs> well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. Anyone else have any ideas? In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. <gasps> what do you think this is, Peter. Ace Attorney? I was gonna make an Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ugh. Oh, he tried. Oh. Three in the morning. Or 3 p.m. That means we have three hours left. Wow, this is so much time. And we need to move now. Oh, it's still me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Seven, Clover, Junpei. I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now. It's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but. We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. Hmm. We'll do that next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you and June should check it out first. You know, do a little kissing. And then report oh. back to us. Okay, let's go, June. Right! You weren't it, kiddos. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> the door on the I'm right so... and the door on the left. I'm so impressed by your thoughts you had earlier, Dumpy. I knew you could think. Thank you. At least someone believes in me. Mm -hmm. Only a little bit, though. A Mercury card reader. We don't have a spaceship! What are we gonna do? Oh. We're using the cards Seven gave us, right? Yeah. Oh, Seven flashback. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. You know, where the corpse was? I think Seven said something like that. Like my Seven impression? <laughs> wow, that's impressive! Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now? Jumpy. I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best! And no kissy kiss. <laughs> With you all of a sudden. Well, I'm happy we were put together. <laughs> ah, you know, it's just for searching E deck, right? God, you're dumb! <laughs> Even so. God, you're so sexy when you're dumb! God, you're <laughs> dumb! Kiss me on the mouth! God! I'm glad I'm with you! 
Oh. <laughs> Actually, he's fine now if the elevator comes up full of water. <laughs> I hope she him away. You pay, you idiot! Oh, God! Just like we did before. I mean, I can swim, but it's gonna be real dirty. It's the same elevator. Oh, here it is. I knew it! It's not win at all. Let's go! Let's -a go! Yeah. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! <laughs> Look! Nearly all the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom buttons can be pushed. We're on C. Where? Oh, again. That's me! Don't, don't read my line. We're on Steam Deck right <laughs> now! <laughs> so the only one we can choose is bottom. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's try it out. Go check out the bottom. <laughs> I don't get it. You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bottom deck. I can't wait to see the bottom. <laughs> hey, over there. That's not a bottom. <laughs> this is a numbered door. This is the, the eighth one we found. Two and oh my god, we're not going to recap all the numbers that we found already. We found every single number except we for We found every you know. number except up till now. We found two and then nine. That means Where's nine. Oh do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next <clears throat> one's gonna be door nine. Nine. Finally! You don't look very happy about it, though. Not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. I don't think that would help us with solving the puzzles. I'm gonna do it anyway. Here I go! And okay. across all of them. All of my fingers. Okay. Even my pinky. And my ring finger. Okay. Um, let's head I back. Got, I got crab claws. Look. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Okay, we we should probably stop here. Okay. Because yes. it's gonna be a whole thing. A whole it's thing. Always a whole thing. It's nine, nine, nine. Yeah. Nine hundred and ninety-nine lines for every scene. Oh, yeah, for real. Uh, All right. Thanks everybody for watching as as as, we, as every week. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate um, your continued patronage and mm -hmm. uh, please check out ChristianGamers.info for the links to our vods on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be awesome. We'll be back here again next week. See you guys later. Yep. Don't do drugs, stay in school. Goodbye! <laughs> Bye! Bye.